got a uh, signal here. Um, spot here is sort of medium to warmish mineralization. Um, you never know what uh, what settings to run in. Uh, and the ground's really, really wet, so that sort of brings out the mineralization a bit. So I've settled on uh, a general difficult and sensitivity eight, and that's been working not too bad. Uh, any signal that I've got, I've checked in high yield, um, and yeah, high yields a little bit sort of sharper, but you can still hear them in general. Um, but in high yield, the ground noises are, are worse. So anyway, I got a signal here, and I just dug the, the top bit of grass off just to uh, make sure it is a signal, and it is. So what I'll do is I'll I'll play around with the different uh, gold mode and ground types, sort of the different combos, and just show you what it sounds like. I'm pretty sure it is a target because I've already checked a few, and they're all. They're all given a signal, so here we go. Um, actually, I'll go in general. That's what I found it with. Now, remember, each each combination is probably going to have a a different optimum sensitivity, and you may even change up the uh, the smoothing depending on where your sensitivity is. Uh, but for the sake of the exercise, I'll I'll leave sensitivity on eight and uh, smoothing on low. So we're just comparing the differences in the in the uh, well, I guess it's the timing in the end. General difficult. All right, now we're going to high yield. Now I've already done the ferrets, uh, ferrite uh, balance on all of these, so I don't have to redo it. Alright, so that's high yield. A little bit sharper. Now, let's go to high yield normal. Pump the coil. It's in auto ground balance. See, the, the actual signal response is a little bit more aggressive, uh, but it's also a bit more complex. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, we're getting a little bit of uh, sort of signal off to the sides of the target. Hear that? Okay, let's try general normal. Now to me, general normal is kind of a, a nice compromise between high yield difficult and high yield normal sort of it sharpens up the signal but it only slightly uh, increases those uh, signals that it's getting off to the side so on this target uh, general normal um, seems pretty good all right uh, let's go to uh, uh, extra deep and normal. Now, extra deep normal is uh, an excellent one to keep in the back of your mind. Um, it's great for ignoring small bits of lead and small bits of foil near the surface, but it's still got uh, pretty good sensitivity to, uh, to gold sized targets. Uh, especially sort of half a gram and up. 
and you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but as soon as you go extra deep normal, EMI just disappears. So very good in uh, stormy conditions. It just smooths out all that warbling. So as I said before, in this combo, I could probably uh, turn my smoothing to off and just get a, get a bit more audio out of it. Well, let's see what it sounds like on the target. Okay, so we've lost that sharpness in the audio and we're getting a dipping signal, which to a trained ear, uh, dipping signal means something a bit bigger, a little bit deeper. So while not as exciting as uh, the other modes, it's still pinging it. All right, so look for the sake of the exercise, um, Let's turn smoothing off, because it has made the machine very stable. Drop the uh, threshold a bit. Smoothing off brings the threshold up. And we could probably increase the, uh, the sensitivity a little bit. I go to 11. So extra deep, normal, sensitivity 11, and smoothing off. Not too bad. All right, um, so I'll leave the machine on those um, slightly higher settings. I'll go back to where we started general and uh, difficult so this is general difficult with a higher sensitivity and smoothing off and you'll be digging that every day of the week on just done my ferrite balance um, so same settings uh, general difficult I've kept them sensitivity 11 just hear a change there but it's not as sharp which tells me it's probably probably fairly small bigger coils are always going to be uh, not as good on real tiny stuff but let's have a play here it's the first time I've put this on so don't know what to expect got a high yield yeah I will check the uh, ferrite. Okay. We're getting a little bit of a response on it. So I'll hit the quick track button. Make sure we're not hearing it. Just give the coil a quick pump. Okay. Okay, so see what it sounds like in high yield. So that's picking it up. 
Probably about as good as uh, general difficult with the uh, the 14. It seems fairly stable, so let's push the sensitivity up. Now, being a small target, I can guarantee that a higher sensitivity is really going to help us out. Um, so yeah, I'll go to 15. Now we've got a little bit of chatter. And now we get to the same thing as before, as um, we get a sharper signal on the target, but we're getting a bit of ground noise either side. So that's probably a bit too far. I'll go down to 13. Okay. Now I'm going to go to sensitivity 8, which is where we started with the other coil. Leave it on high yield and I'll go to normal. So let's see if this uh, little bit more powerful combo does anything to this small target. And it's actually worse. Okay. Back to difficult. Turn our sensitivity up to 13. Now I'll turn the smoothing off. Threshold back down a bit. Anyway, that's getting it. Um, I'm keen to see what this actually is. I've got it out of the hole. Nice sharp signal. Now, one thing I like about this coil is it's very flat where the windings overlap. So you can have the coil quite a bit away from you and do your scoop at the back here. Whereas the 14, that's quite hard and you sort of have to, you have to come over the top. All right, and you can hear what happens. When you get too close, you start to pick up your buttons and your zippers and whatever else metallic you've got on you. Okay. Uh, here it is, a little bit of shot. I've got a really faint uh, signal here. Um, you, know, wouldn't, you wouldn't budge if he wasn't tracking out. So I started digging this hole. Um, the signal didn't sharpen up. And then all of a sudden it just disappeared. So I just had a careful scan around my uh, the pile that I dug.
There's something there. Oh, yeah, it's gold. You little ripper. Jeez, this is a sensitive. Look at the size of the target. Let's give it a bit of a clean. Not bad for a 19 inch coil, eh? That'd probably be maybe a smidge over 0.1, maybe a bit under. It's very, very flat. First bit with a GPZ 19.